Hello and welcome to my definitive collection of Cure vinyl. This will feature the Cure and Cure related records. They're all vinyl, no bootlegs. These are original records. And when I say Cure related, I mean when Robert was with Susie and the Banshees for I think two years. And um, The Glove and Cult Hero. So let's go through this. The first uh, item we're gonna look at is the seven inch for Killing an Arab. This was the first record that they released, or seven inch, um, released in 1978. And the B side is 10:15 Saturday night. Next is the seven inch from the band Lockjaw. And I put this in this collection because it featured Simon before he joined The Cure. This record was released in 1978. Next is the 12 inch for Grinding Halt. No artwork, just a plain white sleeve. And this item is rare because it's hard to find something in such great condition as this one is with the sticker still intact. B side is Meat Hook. Here we have the their debut album, Three Imaginary Boys. And on the back we look, and it's the song titles, but presented in picture form. Here's the Russian release of Three Imaginary Boys. And it has the text. There's the back of the record. Okay. Here's the seven inch for Boys Don't Cry. And the B-side is Plastic Passion. This is a reissued version of Jumping Someone Else's Train. And I think it was around the time they reissued this in 1984, maybe. Maybe I'm wrong, but, um, oh wait, <laughs> it's written right in front of me. Well, late 80s, okay. I bought this at Amoeba. Um, this picture of Robert is around the top era, so anyways, this is not the original 19. 79 or 80 release. Here we have the 7 inch for Cult Hero, and the song is I Dig You. And I'm a Cult Hero. It's kind of blurry, I'm trying to focus. So the cure played the instruments, and the postman is the one that sings. I believe Janet's, oh yeah, Robert Smith's sister is also in, featured his vocals in the background. Here's a compilation that featured Cult Hero, and it's called Britannia Waves the Rules. Now we have um, two copies of the 1015 Saturday Night 7 inch released in France. I have two copies because I was lucky enough to find uh, one of the copies in San Carlos, the Goodwill store. Somebody parted with their beloved records and among the box that I saw was in there was Susie and the Banshees, Echo and the Bunnymen, The Cure of course and so I um, <laughs> grabbed the records that I thought I would most enjoy. Which is basically most of all of them. This is the one that I found in the box. Here is the UK release of Boys Don't Cry, which still has the sticker intact. 
kept it on. The seven inch for a forest. Now this is around 1980. And the B-side is Another Journey by Train. Here's the 12 inch for a forest. Notice that this is not the negative image. Here's the negative, and here's the regular image. And again, the B-side on this is Another Journey by Train. This is a German release for A Forest. And we see how the same B-side. The image on the back is the same as the front. Here's the record. Next, oh, this is the New Zealand release of A Forest. I like the cartoonish figure that they used as the image. Actually, I think this is the Australian release. The New Zealand release has a number seven at the corner. On the stun label. Here's the reissued version of 17 seconds. This copy is sealed. And then Vinyl Lovers released, and that's the Vinyl Lovers record label, released 17 seconds as a 2LP. That included songs not originally included on the 17 seconds album. These are the extra songs it came with. Robert Smith sang backing vocals for the Associates on their album The Affectionate Punch. So this is included in my collection. This is Faith, reissued as a 2LP. This copy is sealed. It's a gatefold sleeve. And it had in included extra tracks. The Carnage Advisors uh, soundtrack is there, as well as these live extra tracks. Here's the 12 inch for primary. And the B-side is Descent. Now we have the U.S. release of Happily Ever After, which was basically 17 seconds and Faith packaged as one, as a 2LP. The hype sticker. Here's the 12 inch for Charlotte sometimes, and this is the German release. I don't have the other release that was, um, I think it's Australian release or maybe German as well as a miss, I don't know, I wouldn't say it's a misprint, but it's the reverse image of what we're looking at right now. It's just reversed. This has a 10 minute live version of Faith. 